right, guys, and we are back with more. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Final Fantasy 16 where we be locked off. And. Super guys. Huh. Oh shoot, they let you buy these. <coughs> Much obliged. Damn, they let you buy these. Wow. The Dallas footsteps. There, son. Nice have have Going down. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth, and assumed it was best for all concerned. No, but for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. I mean, that's pretty messed up for real. I think this shit is, I mean, you know. Clam shells, huh? What are you about to do, but uh, woo. Get him, boy. uh, what are you about to do? Sick of Toggle. 
Righteous. Alright, I am going to probably get... Oh, I'm on the right way, actually. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm gonna get sidetracked a lot. I, I know how I am. I know how I am. So, I was like, I'm gonna get sidetracked, but... I'm gonna find out I'm actually going the right way, so... I retract that statement. <sighs> I'm here, boy. Oh, that was immaculate. She hit him with the ice and he couldn't get up. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. It's not like I'm not gonna fight this thing. Why wouldn't I? Huh? Come here, boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. What you got right there? Uh -uh. Ooh. No holding back. Damn, I don't know how he didn't hit me there, but you know what? Ah, he got me there. I suppose the sun. Too. I don't know if she was about to do, but she was ready. And you love to see that. Damn, we just got trying not to fight everything that comes across, but it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. <coughs> I saw that crab and was like, mm -hmm. after you try to pull up, I mean, hey, that, that, that's 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 like you trying to pull up. We gotta fight that at least once. I gotta, add, I gotta add everything to my little, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a such thing as a. Oh! It's, Jesus God. Wow, Chocobo! It's like that. I don't know what he's gonna do. I gotta watch out. Oh, fuck. Everybody's trying to get in. Everybody trying to get in on this. I ain't having all that. <laughs> I ain't even having all that. Nah, good okay, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You up here messing with my baby Jill. You gotta go. Sorry, little guys. Never thought I'd be fighting chocobos, but, you know, hey. It is what it is. <clears throat> the one widow? Yeah, we taking you out, girl. We taking you out. Oh my god. He was frozen in place. What did she do? Oh my god, that was disgusting. Look, do not do not pull up on me. I would pull on you. That's the agreement. 
That is the agreement. I will not pull up on you. Huh? The motherfucker dead? Damn. They just stay there? It's kind of... That's kind of, um... <clears throat> disturbing. <clears throat> to say the least. But, um... Wow. Alright. So we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Greer go with you. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. You're branded. Wait for him to say it. I see. Mm. Then please, follow me. these people Martha's bearers she entrusted them to my care that I might ease their suffering to the extent that I can for the time they have left hmm? what's wrong with his Every bearer forced to use their gift. Oh. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain. Is that gonna to us? So they are cast aside. Dang. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. My own thanks for <coughs> you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. <coughs> when next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more. Have succumbed. Damn. Mm. Mother's <coughs> rest. Yes. We should. It's up about better move. He looking he like he looking like. You won't get away unless you pass through me. Bro, you better, you, you, you better get away. I gotta get this right here, though. Right, chest. Alright, 
Who did it? It didn't have to be this way. It did not have to be this way. You know this. It's like I'm planning to ever make that challenge. Stay in there for five seconds. <laughs> hey, for real. It's a secret mission. Stay in there for five seconds with Nero. Like, yo. Are you dumb? <laughs> Music is very calming, bro. Really. That, that, I want. I wanted to say, homie. Yo, Jesus, God, they are. They going crazy. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Like, uh, I swear to God, I, I thought I heard "Get you, fresh money." Like, bro, huh? I'm dressing green is for soft. Never down raw. Less bitter juices inspired by me. Wrenching and loose battles. Avoid the fire pan, less foul stink, taint the iron. Rending, rending it none better than flag. And three, and by no means put the stew, lest the vapors over a over a sight stay with chocobos. <laughs> if some of the fodder, one of us first mix with nine parts jack's mint, six parts lemon peel, and three ginger root. Soaking honey wine for a quarter moon to lessen a malador. <clears throat> Mouth is brooks, no sharps. The following cheery will be repaid with a sweet boot to the ass. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, fingering. I, 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 you know what? <laughs> We're going to leave that alone. We ain't going to touch on that. Abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. So long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. <coughs> Except a slumbering chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Mm-hmm. 
I love that too. <sighs> Is that Sid? Sid. Alright. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Cut your hand. Right. Oh no. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Oh no. Around the way I used to. Oh no. He petrified. You give it as my decoration for a long time. Oh no, petrified. Fuck. Wait. Did you see that? What was that? life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. <laughs> she was a slave to her fate, just like you. Yeah, I did. To just save her. I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. <laughs> Sid. I'm now saviour. Just a conceited old <laughs> people forging their own fingers. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. See you again much easier. <coughs> you might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes. <laughs> the last of it. Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So now then. Now I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. <coughs> you look like you're in a hurry. <laughs> you're a devil with that blade. <laughs> far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. I cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? <coughs> now... One of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Damn. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. 
poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. They'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any... You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw <coughs> him for the fallen gate. Go to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Norris was seen heading for the fallen gate. Maybe you can learn something over there. We have to find him, Clive, before someone else does. called Norris to you. I do as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. Right. Thank you. You barely have to step out your Where he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Imperial <coughs> dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. <coughs> but it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. <laughs> Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure. <laughs> I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. <laughs> Trust her. Believe me. We never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. We'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. Uh -huh. And... Sorry. 
You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. <clears throat> oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Wrong. Get me. Alright. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bearer without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. No, no friends, no, no, no. Yeah. I don't see what Drake says shit. Let's what? <laughs> so he'll probably just tell them uh, that, hey, that you kind of remind me of, oh, not completely, but it, it was kind of reminding me of uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Bro, I'm so sick of this dude kept, keep saying that. I'm gonna give you a reason to take me in. You barely have to stay. Oh, we fucked if I'm leaving it. What did you just say? Clave. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. You consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... <laughs> I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I mean, wish those whose bit was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Hmm. Piece of work he was. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. <laughs> He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. <laughs> Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. Much considering, but please, take this. Yes, sir. What are my icons? Like, what is what is that? Is that what like the chocobos are normally? <sighs> Alright, we're gonna take up this quest and then we're gonna end the episode. Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, oh, maybe one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but 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 only might have you understand. Wow. Bog crabs down there, nasty buggers them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. I uh, might be able to knock this out before before we hit. Chris, my life. All right. We might be able to do it. Back up. 
a uh, speed run diet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 eesh, eesh. Alright, let's get it. Let's just kill everything I said. Let's just keep it a thousand. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. Ah, 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 ah. Should be ah. Get him, boy. Reaching unimaginable heights. to see it. E. E. Get on up. Son, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting the nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the cash to town. It was a time honest tax paying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce. Oh, wow, that's how brilliant. It's purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. You better make sure you don't lose it. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. We have no more quests. And uh, we just got an objective. And uh, yeah. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but it's going to catch you guys later for more Final Fantasy XVI.